working horizontally to shallow out your golf swing. So we hear all the time about shallowing, don't we? It's the, uh, well, you know what took over shallowing? The buzzword was ground reaction forces. So it actually, I think, got beat out. But I think uh, ground reaction force is such a mystery to people still that it's probably uh, still bigger. So let's talk about this, shallowing. Um, so anybody that has a move coming down, that's steep. And so if I have, um, let me show you a good way to show it to you. Um, if I have, if I show you my plane, this is the plane I use for my club. So just to show you how I do it, it's pretty simple. I'm going to match up the plane of my club with this. Okay. So I got it. Um, you know, I'm just going to put this right here right now. And then just so you can see it now, If my plane, it moves a little bit up here, so let me see, it comes down. You can kind of see, let me make sure I have it right, it looks kind of steep. Eh, I guess it's because of that thing's bowed a little bit, but okay, so now here, here I am at the top. Now, mine probably looks pretty close to it. To imagine it what it is now, that's fine. If you swing further, you may get horizontal, you may get you know parallel to the target. I'll tell you what though, folks, this is gonna get a little off topic. Um, once you're past about, unless you are a phenomenal athlete still in training, once you're past probably the young 20s, you should, you probably can never be up here again. Okay, now I see a lot of golfers up there because how do they get there? What do they do? This right arm's completely broken down. So, what they think is a full swing, they want to get longer, but they really, all they can do is swing to here, be like this, look at that. So they go past parallel, I think. So look at both arms break down. So um, it's not, it's, it's false. So let's get back to shallowing our swing. So how do you know if you're steep? So you come here, we're gonna judge on the way down. So think about this plane of this shaft, or uh, this is my shaft plane, think about it. I'm steep relative to this now, aren't I? I'm not underneath it, I'm on top of it, aren't I? See that coming down right to the ground? If I was like this, it'd be the same bit. If I shout out, I'd be underneath it. So if I were to be like, see the angle, how much below that is? No, that's a lot, but I'm just showing you. So how can we get that? Um, you know, there's a lot of ways. I. I shouldn't say there's a lot of ways. There's a lot of ways to practice it. Uh, a lot of different ways you'll hear on the internet that I think are grossly false about how it happens. All you have to do is look at some 3D data and um, when you know what you're looking at, you can tell that how it works and um, exactly how it works and what initiates and everything. But this is what we're gonna work on. We're gonna work on some horizontal swings, okay? So baseball swings are kind of hard for me to do in this bay I have here. Um, but basically, if we're just like this, this is a lot closer to what we should be when we're down here. We're gonna feel so much easier to go horizontal. Um, so this is what I want you to practice, just like you're doing baseball swings. But we're gonna go back. So the club's kind of opening on the way back. I'll do it a little shorter here. Okay, so the club's gonna open a little bit on the way back, okay? Now, when we come through, this is really important, folks. Eventually, we're going to do this with speed. But when we come through, I want you coming through like this. See how we rotate the club face close? This is a great time to learn what it's like to turn the shaft instead of most of you out there who close it like this. This is how you guys close it, most of you. You wonder why you top. And, you know, this is why you top it, because you have an um, angle of attack that's coming up at the ball. So... Work on your swing horizontally. So here, and I'm going to go, am I good here? Yep. And I'm going to go on. And then you're going to notice when you get down here, and I like to do it in stages. Those of you that have come see me, you see I do a one. I go here, act like the ball's right there. We go, okay. And then I go down to here, act like the ball's right there. It's a lot easier to feel what we're doing after we've done, round, rounded ourselves out. So shallowing. So do a lot of uh, stuff that is horizontal here until you can really feel it. And then you're going to feel what it's like to start kicking your hips out and just let it happen naturally. You should never have this feeling that, okay, I'm done with my backswing, I've loaded up. I'm going to go 
It never works for anybody. Nobody does it. Even the men and women on the tour do not work on rotating their hips out of the way, okay? Most of the things that you see that happen there are functions of their golf swing that happen, okay? So no really good golfer gets to the top of their swing goes, and no, no good golfer works on their hips like that, okay? Now, if they are having trouble with clearing, there's usually another issue, and it may be in drills you start there and try to make sure you get back there, but there's that means there's different reasons going on along with just clearing. So anyways, this, got, this one got a little longer, but you guys got the shallowing drill, and we're gonna make sure we check it that we're here though. We're not gonna do this like here. And then this stuff, okay? We're gonna swing here, shallow, and we're gonna come through, and look how my body goes. It's so important, folks. Like when you do this, when you do this at home or a course, wherever you do it, you get sound out front. You're gonna swing really fast. You're gonna eventually like this, and I'm not trying to make a hips. I'm trying to get some power going here. So I went, and then I'm gonna get to here, and I'm gonna swing through though. After that, it's just like if I want to throw a ball far. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go like this, and see how my hips went like this. I didn't try to open my hips. I went like this. I just know I got to get power by the hips going this way, and my arm going back this way. And that's kind of what you're going to be working on with this shallowing drill. So I would always say this, go for those of you really working on it up here, do one up high, one here, one here, and then on the fourth one, you don't wait more than 10 seconds, you go, okay? There's, there's something about that eight to 10 seconds in our brain that we have to hit it that quick. So do one, two, three, four, hit, okay? Thanks for watching. Eric Short, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com.